Hey Warriors, it's your girl Ty, the plus size trainer. And I just want to talk to you real raw, uncut, unedited today. Um, so, excuse my parents, excuse the tears, I've already been crying before making this video, but um, it's something that I've been meaning to do for a few weeks now, and I think I'm finally ready just to talk to you guys. Um, so as you know, I decided to take a social media hiatus for the month of June, and now that we are in the final week of June, I did I decided to extend that a little longer. So um, I'm going to be gone maybe half of July as well, but um, I feel like it's better for me to do it this way. Um, what you guys don't know is that What you guys don't know is for the last several months not only has my physical health been struggling but my mental health has been struggling and it's really hard but um it's really hard to be in the public eye or a public figure or a social media influencer and have so many eyes on you, judging you by what they see. But what you don't realize is that people go through a lot of things behind the scenes that they aren't really to talk about or share. And it's the same for like Robin Williams or any, you know, famous person that commits suicide. You look at them and you are like, why? Because they're struggling. And it's like you have to put out this persona for everybody to see who's watching. But you guys don't get or understand the real raw deal. And... I've suffered with depression for many years, most of my life. I have been to the point where I was suicidal. Um, I've attempted suicide multiple times. But um, I know that God has something greater for me and that's why I'm still here. The last time that I attempted to commit suicide, um, I almost died. Actually, I think I was dead. And I was floating outside of my body and I couldn't get back into it. And I could hear, I could see everything in the room, but I was disconnected. And when I came out of that, I promised that I would never attempt to do something like that again. But <clears throat> there are days that I have it's so dark. And it's lonely. And it's hard to talk about because people, especially in the African American community, they think, you know, depression, mental health is a joke. And they don't take it seriously. And when you start to open up and talk about those kind of things, people look at you like, oh, she's crazy. And honestly, it might be crazy. <laughs> but um, I've had to use, like, you know, my personality, my sarcasm as a coping mechanism to just be in front of people on a day to day basis and um I just wanted to let you guys know that's what I've been going through and I feel like for me being off of social media has been such a good thing because I'm not letting other people 
I'm not letting their vibes get to me. I'm really like, I've been detoxifying myself from the energies that other people put out online, other people's expectations. And one of the main things I realized, I'm gonna do a totally separate video on, is like one of the reasons why I keep rebounding and wait. A lot of it, you know, has to do with me trying to have this ideal body or this ideal image. And what I really started to realize is that I've had that for so long. I've had my ideal body most of last year. But when you put yourself on social media, the expectations are increased. So people will influence you, say different things, make you feel less than, and then you start rethinking. And another thing about being off of social media, I haven't had anybody to corrupt how I feel about myself or my thoughts. So I want to take this time to continue to get better and, um, Again, not just mentally, but physically, because I've had some health complications that have affected me and my weight. And it's a scary thing because I'm too young to be having any kind of health complications. But um, being beyond stress having a high level of anxiety all the time. It's just, it's been taking the toll on me. And um, I had to get offline to really deal with that. So I'll be back online somewhere towards the middle or end of July. And what I do, um, I don't wanna be online like doing the weight loss thing anymore. The anxiety of it is way too overwhelming for me. And this is what I realized is that I have never had an end game for the weight loss. Because I've always had my mind weight loss, weight loss, diet, weight loss, weight loss mode. Because I wanted to appease the people that are watching me. But at some point you lose your weight, your diet comes to an end. I never really thought about the next step adjusting maintaining and that is what I want to start focusing on with my platform so I don't want to keep showing you my scale or always oh this is what I'm eating or this is the diet that I'm doing I am so sick of that shit um and I keep stressing my body so much trying to get to a place that I don't even really want to be but want to make it look good for the people who are watching me so I stay in this diet mode my body gets stressed out and then I start rebounding and then it just kind of goes downhill from there so I said that I'm doing this new vlog series here on YouTube and it's going to basically showcase about six to eight weeks of me dieting down I don't want to put it on Snapchat I don't want to put it on Instagram and when I get down to where I want to be, I don't want to talk about weight anymore. I don't want to talk about anything that has to do with weight loss. I just want to show you guys what I'm working on going forward. And going forward, what I want to do is I want to get back into powerlifting. That is what I was most happy doing during this entire seven years. It's been seven years now, this July, that I have, um, no, this June, it's been seven years that I've been trained. And I want to start powerlifting again. I am going to do my first powerlifting match next year. So I want to show you guys how I get prepared for that and how I transition into the world of powerlifting. And I mean, I remember at one point when I got down low and weight, everybody was like, you should compete. You should compete. And this is the thing. My entire life I've been judging on how I look. I was too dark, I was too fat, I was too ugly, I was too poor, I didn't have name brand stuff. Always being judged. Why do I want to feel good about myself and then have to get to a point where I'm feeling good about myself and 
have to go beyond that to try to appease a judge to be judged again on how they look. I don't want to do that. And so for me, powerlifting is what I love. It's about strength and I'm not being judged on how I look because I don't have to be fucking 8% body fat to do a powerlifting competition. Also, with that being said, and I don't want to offend nobody with saying this, I don't want to be a fat powerlifter either. It just is not impressive to me if I can squat 355 pounds, but I'm 200 pounds. Or, you know, when I was at my max PRs in powerlifting, I was like 155, 160, and I was squatting 355. That to me is impressive. So right now I am dieting down. Um, and again, once I get done with doing so, once I get to a, a, a more comfortable point, I will come back to my social medias full time. And the way things have been going, I'm projecting that to be another three to four weeks. And again, once I do get back on Instagram, once I do get back on Snapchat, I want my content to be different. I don't want to be focused on weight loss. I want to be focused on, you know adjustment adjustment to life of the body that i'm in and unfortunately i don't have the genetics and the luxury of losing weight and never putting it back on i'm always going to have to fight at this but i need to work with my body and not against it and listen to the cues of my body i understand now that i need to be happy with what my body feels is comfortable and not let other people influence me to do something different. So, that's what's been going on with me, guys. 